So this is the finished cell. Let's talk about what we have in this cell. There's some major components here. Robot, obviously, as specified by the lab. And then we have a pallet of bolts over here that need thread locker on them. Um, the industry standard seems to be Loctite, which I put an image here for, and there's a link to the Wikipedia on Loctite and uh, thread locking fluids. What they do is just prevent fasteners from coming apart from torque or vibration. So we're applying that to each one of these bolts um, in this pallet of 12 bolts. These bolts you will lay out uh, by putting a part to your fixture here and uh, making these an array of parts with a certain amount of distance in the row and column or the X and Y uh, portions of your pallet. Then we've got the end of arm tooling over here, which is a gripper, which is holding an applicator, which is dipping the applicator into a well to supply the Loctite to the applicator. And let me just run this through the program here and you'll see how it operates. I'm gonna do just like we would do on the teach pendant. I hit a function, abort all function, abort all. And then just like on the teach pendant, you're going to hold down the shift key and hold forward and just make sure you're not in step condition, but actually in continuous, which means non-step. So make sure you're not in this condition, but this condition. And then I really recommend you don't use the shift key on this teach pendant. It's best to just hold down the shift key on your keyboard and release it, hold and release it. The, way I, the reason I recommend that is if you hold on the shift key, it just maintains and then you go back to do something else and you know how the teach pendant misbehaves if you hold down the shift key so it's just best to just never press this hold on the shift key and now i'm going to hit step forward and i'll slow this guy down a bit here so you can see what's happening dipping into the well and coming back to the second bolt because we've already gone to the first one applying it, dipping into the well, coming over and applying the thread lock to the third one. And to the fourth one. And through some special uh, manipulation in the programming, we're going to go now to the second row and then start applying it to the second bolt within that row. And Speed it up to show you the finished process here. And the last step here and should dip the last bolt and then go home. Oh, and it applies first and then goes home. So that's the full process of the Loctite uh, applying uh, to the array or pallet of 12 bolts.